Mike's Daily Podcast. It's always fun to start off a podcast with a maniacal laugh. This is Mike and Mike's Daily Podcast. The program called Mike's Daily Podcast. It's Mike and I hope you are having fun. It is a long weekend for you and not for some because our companies don't let us have Martin Luther King Jr. Day off. That's kind of way off, but you know what? We're going to talk about some things that we should remember every year. Mike's Daily Podcast. It's not just a three-day holiday for some. Of course, not for myself, but for maybe you. There are things to remember. Mike's But my first daily thing to tell you is that podcast. it's F- F- episode 2368. Yeah. I was born in 68. Sadly, that's when Martin Luther King Jr. died in 68. But it is... 2,368. And I would like to tell you right here at the beginning of the show that I'm going to be on the radio tomorrow. Yes, on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, I'm going to be on the radio. And to find out where to listen to that show, go to mikesdailypodcast.com. There's a link right there. And you can listen to it right there. Yes. Exciting. So yesterday, I finished watching the Maggie Gyllenhaal movie... That she made for Netflix I believe, I don't know I think it's, and I might be wrong With anything I'm about to say, so here we go Olivia Coleman, The British actress Who did a Doctor Who Episode, was on Broadchurch Was one of the Doctor Who people The David Tennant She's Got some other Academy Award For something, or got nominated I don't know what So I see this movie the Lost Daughter or The Daughter That Got Lost, whatever it's called. And it is on Netflix. You can watch it now. She's in Greece. She's vacationing there. And I'm not going to give anything away. I am going to tell you, though, lots of tight close-ups in this movie. And here's today's podcast picture. So Maggie directed this and wrote it. She adapted it from a book. Oh, the podcast picture is of... A nice picture my lovely lady friend took While walking On What day was that? I think it was Thursday Yeah So you see that uh, uh, Podcast Rally. See it at mikesdailypodcast.com A nice lovely picture today On this day Today Which happens to be a Sunday But This uh, movie And the late great Basil the Boxer he had a few things to say about the movie too. That's right. Uh, tight close-ups. What are the? What's the point? No, but yeah, lots of tight close-ups. Uh, it, and what's Mike got a uh, problem with that? Nah. It just gets very confusing because you can't see what's happening. I know it's supposed to create this sense of it's it's you're focusing on one. Actor doing one thing and going through one trauma or whatever. But it just gets annoying after a while. So she also does this, has this weird twist of an ending that I don't think anybody quite understands. And the only other thing I'll give away is that it has a lot to do with having daughters. Now, I don't have daughters, I have two cats that make a heck of a lot of noise. When my lovely lady friend is trying to feed them And in this movie The two daughters are making a lot of noise For the younger version The other actress that plays the younger version Of the character that Olivia Coleman is playing And there's this um, the, 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 The mom of these two daughters Can't stand it She's getting annoyed She wants to just run away And it has a lot to do with daughters As the name of the movie would Suggest, But what I told my lovely lady friend after watching this movie, I said, it's interesting how at the end of the movie during the credits, it says the director would like to thank, and she mentions her two daughters. I guess Maggie Gyllenhaal has two daughters. So she's probably saying, hey, you know, I'm not trying to tell you anything. But maybe you're almost as annoying as the young daughters in this movie to me. But no, I'm not really saying that. It's sort of a passive aggressive thing. You're trying to tell your daughters something through the movie. But I don't know. Go see it. If you're into these sort of these brooding 
artistic I mean it's filmed in Greece The country of Greece Very pretty Maybe you'll like it At any rate I I just think You need to put that camera For a little bit further away from your face All the you know Give us more of a sense of what's happening In the grander scheme of things But I am not a cinematographer I am a podcaster My main forte is audio And that's all I got going for me But here we are at Cafe Anyway With all these wonderful people hanging out Maybe they've all got three day weekends Have you all got three day weekends? Are you all enjoying your three day weekend? Now they're busy all talking to each other They don't even notice me But I would like to say Too often Martin Luther King Jr. Day is seen as a day off and little else. This according to Mashable.com. Aside from grade school lessons painting a vague picture of King's life and activism, the majority of us, especially white people, remain detached from his impact. King is a historical name we've learned to recognize coupled with bits and pieces of facts from a whitewashed history, but truly appreciating his work is hardly on the radar, even on a day made to honor him. And this, by the way, was written by... Oh! Oh, it doesn't tell me the author? What? Well, it's in Mashable.com. Yes, Katie du- Duper. Dupery. Katie Dupery wrote this. Okay. And you know what? I. It's no secret. I am not. Uh, let's see. In this world, I think there are certain people you need to stay away from. I learned I need to stay away from anybody, you know, romantically. You need to stay away from. And it's always good to find people. That are not getting breadcrumbed in relationships Where you give a lot and you get very little bet back You get breadcrumbs back And I found in my life On the grand scheme of things If a woman is named Katie It ain't gonna work for me I'm gonna get breadcrumbed, it's not gonna work Which I find fascinating Because most of my friends Are married to or are dating someone named Katie So it worked out for them but not for me At any rate Not the same Katie that breadcrumbed me but Or KT's as it would be But that's just a fascinating fact As we go outside a cafe anyway We're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcastro Valley The last place on earth Podcastro Valley 10 King was a racial justice leader and organizer Whose influence is still felt today Which deserves to be meaningfully recognized on MLK Day and beyond. Here's a way to celebrate a man and a movement that continue to challenge and break barriers. Volunteer in a way that gives back to the black community directly. King was a tireless activist who deeply valued the meaningful change that committed individuals can make when working towards good. The proof is his tire- fearless and responsible activism and a precedent still championed and felt today. The King Center, a nonprofit dedicated to preserving King's memory, established by his late wife, Coretta Scott King, advocates for MLK Day to be, quote, a day on, not a day off, calling for those who have the day off to honor King's life through volunteerism. While MLK Day is talked about as a national day of service, often it stops at just that, merely talk. Instead of using the day as an excuse to sleep in or binge watch a new Netflix series. <laughs> a side note to that, there is a wonderful Netflix series called High on the Hog, which is wonderful to watch this time of year because it tells you about the meaningful ways the African American community shaped our food culture in America. And what contributions were made The amazing flavors and tastes and concepts and recipes That came from African Americans is fantastic And it's called High on the Hog, watch it So you should take steps to support your local community directly 
especially local communities of color. Recognize and value the full comprehensive history of King and of the racial justice movement. Many of us only know a partial story of Martin Luther King Jr., one that focuses on certain parts of his character, appealing to a certain historical narrative, his virtue of nonviolence, is exploited as a way to discourage rebellion in the face of racism. Something that King actually saw as an obligation. Take the time to learn the history of King, pushing beyond the whitewashed textbooks of public school classrooms. Read books by King, his family, and black authors and leaders to broaden your scope. Learn his views by reading his words. Most important, be critical of the dominant narrative so you learn more about King's life and legacy and bring this critical eye with you as you look at the racial justice movements of today. Use this as an opportunity to work on your allyship if you are white. Allyship is a constant journey and constant work. When you lose sight of that, you stop being an ally in a way that is responsible, necessary, and useful. Being a meaningful ally to any community means constantly critiquing your allyship, working to better yourself so you can be more thoughtful and a more impactful advocate. Martin Luther King Jr. Day should be a day when we look at the entire scope of the racial justice movement, past and present. With that, for white allies comes the opportunity to evaluate and reframe the work they are doing to support the movement. Recognize and appreciate the strides King made while also recognizing the change still needed. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is often seen as a time to reflect on the history of racial injustice in America, but racial injustice is definitely not something entirely in the past. Seeing the civil rights movement of King's era and the end of lawful racial segregation as the end of racism in the United States is a disservice to the black community now. Discrimination, bias, and dis- disadvantage still exist daily for people of color, which needs to be recognized before it can be challenged. Commit to starting more meaningful conversations about racial justice. Along with recognizing discrimination comes the obligation to talk about what you are noticing. Calling out racial injustice happening around you forces others to confront it as well. Starting an important informal critique of our society and ourselves. If you are non-black, the obligation to start a conversation doesn't mean you should only be talking with the black community about the racism you are noticing. They definitely know it exists. Arguably, more important is the chance to talk to other non-black people about racism and anti-black attitudes. An often uncomfortable conversation. As it should be Take action against racial injustice Martin Luther King Jr. is celebrated, noted, and idolized For his unwavering stance against racial injustice Though he consistently spoke passionately About the unjust social climate Facing people of color across the country During the Civil Rights Movement He also took tangible activist action To encourage change Action is always a risk, especially when you are an activist of color pushing against a society deeply privileging whiteness. But action is an important agent of change for those who feel empowered to challenge an unjust system and society. Donate to organizations working for racial justice. If you aren't able to donate your time, donating your money can also make a big impact by tangibly helping organizations who fight for Racial justice So that all from Mashable.com And the author Karen Katie Wait was it a Katie? Oh that's right yeah That's how we got on the Katie tangent Katie Dupere And I gotta work on Martin Luther King Jr. Day So So much for my volunteering But at any rate It is something for all of us to think about. Makes me think about how to make a better world. Because we can all do it. We all can. 
It's not just Oh that person that you know That Seems kind of the activist type We've all got Ways to help Make the world a better place With our uh, Little You know It didn't mention there too About voting with your feet About what you purchase What you buy Who you support What organizations you support That may Support uh, Causes that Aren't Exactly Positive In a racial justice way So there's all that to consider as well It is definitely a day for thought We've just gotten through a bunch of holidays Where we indulge, overindulge Lazy out Zone out on the couch Binge watching Netflix Binge watching football games And other sports It's good to Put the mind to use Okay So we're outside a cafe anyway Somewhere in Podcastro Valley Ten, The last place on earth And look who is here Hello Michael Masu It's Madame Rudebega And I love being here today Oh Good It's good that you're here today Because we needed you Today To lighten up Our very serious topics today Yes Michael Masu Oh You know I had a big Big list of things I needed to do It was a very busy Sunday And it looks like I've almost gotten completely through the list Now somebody who does a lot of work at my job Is going to be off next weekend through the following week So that week is going to be, uh, what's the word? Hell for me So at this time I'm going to need to try and rally rally the troops Get my work team Helping me out So we'll see if we can do that Just thought I'd share that with you Madam Rudabiga Was that fascinating? Yes Do you want to make me a delicious dinner? Yes Are you going to have red velvet cake? No Ah, oh, I've been craving red velvet cake lately Such a delicious um, dessert I used to have it every year At Thanksgiving and Christmas But that was because My then wife Her family Had a cousin She had a cousin in her family Who could make some really good food Or her her side of the family made some good food And I don't get that anymore So I think I'll just go Get a red velvet cake at a local bakery That supports social justice Racial justice How about that That's how I'm going to help out In one of the many ways Look who else is here Hello, dear Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attending. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, we hope that you have a wonderful day tomorrow. Are you going to do a podcast day? Yeah, a podcast. Do you know that? We will see, Bison Bentley and Valentino. We will see if that is possible. I think starting early in the morning tomorrow, I got another big list. If I can get through the whole list and get to that little window of time that I tell you about where I'm able to bring you a podcast, I will do so. So please don't get too excited. They walked away. Valentino and Bison Bentley walked away. They walked back to their little house there in the parking lot where they keep an eye on all the cars so catalytic converters don't get stolen because that's a thing. In the Bay Area But next show It's going to be The wonderful Shelly Shuhart Floyd the floor man And John Deere The engineer Check out The website MikeStellyPodcast.com And I'm going to be On the air On a particular Radio station There's a link to that At MikeStellyPodcast.com You can also Contact me there Through that Or you can give me A call at 336-MM-DAILY 3 plus 3 equals 6 MM as in Mike Matthews Daily as in What this podcast Has been Sometimes I get Interrupted You know how that is But now we have to take us out of FF episode 2368 A-Frame. Oh, wait. Hold it. A-Frame. You know, I found out something today. If for some reason you don't want to download a bunch of frivolous apps to your phone, such as myself, I don't want to have any social media apps on my phone, but I do like posting to Instagram, especially that is the perfect place for me to post podcast pictures to. And I have been posting the podcast picture to Instagram now for many, many years. Now, apparently, you can go through your desktop. You can actually go through the website. 
for Instagram to post pictures and you don't have to even download the app on your phone. It's fantastic. I don't know who over there at Facebook who owns Instagram had the revelation to come up with this. That's fantastic. Thank you. But there you go. Just thought I'd share that little piece of info. Okay, take us out, eh, Frank? Mike's TV Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. You know... I forgot to say, it doesn't really say on the website, um, mikesdailypodcast.com. It's the station that I'm on Sundays from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's the one. So you can find that link. The one, just look for the link for the one, the Sunday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. one. I'm going to be on that station for Martin Luther King Jr. Day, Monday, tomorrow. So there you go. Details at mikesdailypodcast.com.